Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run on Master Presage Mission, the Master Presage Mission on the Hunter. This is a flawless. This is my second run, so just the Titan, the Titan to do after this. And as you probably guessed, we're going to go full sweat, full cheese. We're going to just be going invisible as often as possible. Same weapons I use for the Warlock, uh, primary shotgun I am using the Heritage, which is the Raid Shotgun. You can use the Blasphemer. I'm just using this one because... It has auto load and holster. I care loss for producing the odd one main cell, but the lament is important. Top tree, uh, the uh, night stalker as well. And as you can see here, these are the mods passive guard, very important. Shield break charge as well, really good for getting uh, charge of light. Uh, stacks on stacks gains extra stack of charge of light with every stack you gain. So every time I get one, I'm gonna get two. Sword Ammo Finder and Scavenger to go with it as well. Solar Damage Resist, Concussive Dampener and Supercharged on the 6th Coyote, which will give me two dodges, double the amount of time spent invisible. Same as Warlock, Lucent Blade. I've had to put Momentum Transfer on so that I get the Replenishing Guard. You will not get the second perk as an active perk if you don't have another Arc mod slotted into your armor at the same time. And that's, that is the setup, guys. That is what I'm going to be using on the Hunter. The idea is we're going to go invisible and just the enemy won't be able to see us, which is the idea of going invisible. Roughly, this is going to be the same sort of run as the Warlock, except, again, the Hunter can go invisible. The idea of that, I, I mean, I don't even have to explain why that is so good, because... It's just going to get us out of trouble so often. You'd have seen I've got about 90 mobility, so I'm getting my dodge back roughly, I don't know what that is, every 15 seconds. You're invisible for about 4 seconds. So when you become visible, you've only got to wait about 10 seconds to get your next charge. It's something like that. I can't remember the exact numbers. Now... I won't be telling you exactly how to do this jumping bit because by this point you probably have been into the normal and know this jumping part like the back of your hand. So I'll give some, same as I've done with the Warlock, although I think you're going to see the Hunter. I'm going to be doing the run differently on the Hunter because the Hunter was the first flawless that I'd done. Uh, and, and I didn't realise I could have just ran past a ton of these enemies. If I had have realised... I'd have probably had done this run about a minute and a half faster than what I'd done it in. And I think I still had almost two minutes left when I finished. So I would have had about three and a half minutes left. I reckon if I'd done that run now, it would be a lot faster. But And the reason normally I'm kind of like, well, I don't care how fast it is. But with this being a timed mission, I want to give you guys as much time as possible to complete it. You'll see here I'm kind of just going as fast as possible. So... Combat scenarios. Now, I spoke about, about this a little bit about this on the Warlock. We'll talk about the two main ones because we've got tons of time before we get to the boss. The first piece of combat is going to be it's going to be a little room. You're going to have three kind of void shielded captains and you're going to have ravagers and a couple of snipers. The idea is, that, and, and you're going to find this in, 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 in the main rooms that you're going to be in. Snipers are so, so bad. And because the boss is in a solar area, we kind of have to we kind of have to set our character up to tank solar damage. So, really are going to be at the mercy of the snipers. When you're not actually in any combat, you're moving from area to area, just get used to pulling out your sword and taking taking advantage of passive guard now as you'll probably if you've seen the warlock run you'll know you don't actually have to fight these guys so that all that time i just spent shooting them is kind of a waste same down here i don't have to kill any of them i can just go straight past them use your invis but because i didn't know any better i'm spending time shooting these guys when i didn't have to but I'm sh shotgun, precision shotgun, obviously it's a primary. Slugs the way you want to go. I, as I say, some people will obviously pull me up for using the heritage. I don't care. <laughs> well, I do, but it just gets a little bit like, oh, can you not do it with a toothpick and a toothpaste tube? Uh, use the blasphemer. Use use any of the primary slugs that you can. You can, you know, you want to keep your Kalos SMG on. 
to create more mind cells. You know, that you, you want to have that on to do that and global reach as well, just to increase their their uh, range and, and damage. But I, I, I chose the Heritage because it had auto load and holster and I've kinda kinda like it. Kinda really do like it. But I understand not everybody's gonna have that, so Blasphemer is the one you get from Altars of Sorrow. Go with that. Uh, no, this area. Oh my god, this area. I appreciate the Easter egg to Star Wars, but this area is a nightmare. If you feel confident you can get through this area pretty quickly, just clear out the Screebs as fast as you can. If you can't get the fuses, just go to the other side from where we are now. And uh, just go to the other side from where we are, this side over here. Go into the center. And uh, if you go into the center, you... Uh, you can stand there and just not worry about anything. You won't get killed. Just kill the Screebs, go on to the other side. But as you can see, it kind of is pretty easy to just... It's not pretty easy. I, I don't know why I'm saying it's pretty easy. Pain in the backside. Because sometimes, the, you, you know, compactor covers those uh, fuses before you can break them. Now, what i done the Warlock here was I threw a grenade at that second... A second sniper. I don't have to do that here because I can just go invisible and go, hey, and just, you know, appear over there and just kill him. Invisibility on the hunter just makes it so much easier. I will just put that grenade down. Hopefully they run into that. Just make it a little bit easier to kill these guys. I've got heavy. Now I'm going to go, go a bit of invis and take this out and then charge. Take one. And then invis again. Got a heap of these guys. I'm, I don't care. It's the captain. Because we can just go after these guys now with the sword. A war main cell would be really good. If you can produce a war main cell here, that would be really good. So just up here. There's one war main cell. And there you go. And that's us out of this area. A little bit slower than the Warlock. I felt like the Warlock done the first part a lot faster. Uh, because of the grenade. The grenade and the super. But the Hunter is going to make up for it. So when we, I done this really, really well on the Warlock. This was kind of my tester. This was the first time I went flawless. I just... I, ha I didn't really know this mission that well. Because I come in with, with clan mates and stuff. And haven't been... really haven't been well this week. Uh, but, uh, it, it didn't, it never seemed like a, like a, you know, zero hour thing, although I think it's more difficult, I would say it's more difficult than the Harbinger. So, same idea, take out, take out the snipers, take out the void guys, and then take, once you take out the captains, once you, when you're just left with one captain, you'll get these abominations. As you can see, now we've got these guys. I want to produce a war main cell. If I don't, you see that guy on the... I think I produced one here, but it's like nearly too late for it to be of any good. Then you've got your screeps, which I'm just going to run past. High mobility on any of your characters is just so good. So, again... Now that we've got that, I tanked that shot because, well, I blocked it. And you see there, because we've got that second charge on the Lament, that second uh, modifier, uh, I get my big attack quite quickly. Take out that last Ravager. Now, we've took that first guy out down, the first uh, Abomination down, quite low. So now, this is going to be the guy we're going we're gonna to be killing. Just uh, take out... I thought that was the last Ravager. That is the last Ravager. Dodge going Viz. Charge up where Lament. And then Bosch. Five hits and then a big hit. You can see there I tanked. I tanked his... His big melee. Uh, because... I could. So I, I was at that captain this time. So I decided... Because you've got the Invis. You, you can do a little bit more. You know, you, 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 you're not bound to the same rules. 
So we're just backing away. Got to be careful because of the sniper. So I'm going to go and vis. I realise the sniper... The sniper is... Uh, right on me there. Uh, the sniper had a good view of me. So I just... I just uh, dodged. And went and vis. Came back up. Uh, see, I'll take these guys out here. I dodged, went and vis, come back up so that I was in cover from the snipers. So the way I've done it on the Warlock is definitely better for staying alive. And you see how quick it was, how quick it was to take out the second abomination. Because I'd already damaged them when there was no ad. So until you when, right, so you get the three captains. We take out the void one at the top to start with. And then we're gonna take out one of the bottom ones. Once we take out one of the bottom ones, still gonna be a captain up, but we're gonna get the two abominations. Until we kill an abomination, we can take out the other ads. But until we kill an abomination, we get nothing else. So you, you, it's just you and the abominations. You can put as much damage on them as you want. If you're going in with a fire team of two, just remember to... T or a fire team of three. Just remember to take the abominations down. Because you and your fire team could... Time it, right? You could take... You could take the abominations out at the same time, and then it's just ads to deal with. But that's how we do it. If you want a better comprehensive way uh, if, uh, to sh show how it works, you know, on a, from a different perspective, check out the Warlock run. The Warlock run is, there is a, a strategy in the Warlock run that's, that's I think, is a little bit more straightforward than this run. Hunters, eh? <laughs> so when you get here, just remember to feather this, feather these shots here, because you do have an SMG, you're just looking to put a couple of shots to break that before you go up here. So that's that's really the two combat sections that out of the way. There's a there's a couple of little sections here, nothing nothing really major. Uh, what you're doing now is just, just trying to save some time. To give yourself the best chance at the boss. Give yourself the right amount of time at the boss. Now, up until now, my wallet runs faster. But this is where the hunter takes over because of the invis. So what we're going to do here is take these screeps. You don't want these guys running about. Uh, shotgun will finish off the last couple. There we go. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to bypass... These captains, you don't have to fight them. They're just here to stop you from having fun and getting through this quickly. So we're just going to do that. And then we need to get back down. You see that captain followed me. A little nightmare. Normally they don't do that, but I think it was because he seen me run in there. I was too, too present. Take out this guy. Take out the, the fuse. And then we're going to go and get what Egregor Link. And then we're going to go invis and just run past the, the captains. And then that's this section done. Now, I don't really use my super too often, but I am going to use my super for the big, big kind of wave of ads. So, again, I'm just going to break these these uh, these panels, and then we're going to go and get what Egregore link, and then just go and vis. And just be done with it. I don't, I don't even think you have to go and vis here. I think you can just run past and jump over it. But I am going to go and vis just... Just to be safe. And then we're into this section. Again, more... Uh, more Egregore Link running through goo walls. I, I asked a question. A couple of my clan mates about what they thought the best one of these styles of missions were. Was it this? Was it Whisper? Was it... Uh, Outbreak Perfected? I mean, you have to really add... You have to add the Harbinger in because... It, Technically, is one of these t styles of uh, uh, runs, and uh, everybody's going to have a different opinion. I think this ranks about third. I think Whisper and Outbreak Perfected, the Outbreak, the Zero Hour mission, were better than this for a couple of reasons. If you're going for the mission, I think the Outbreak Perfected mission was my favourite. But if you're talking about the weapon, if you add the weapon in as part of that. And the Whisper was the best for me. This is third. This is I, I definitely prefer this to the Harbinger. I don't find this particularly troubling, this mission. Because, again, 
It's about knowing it, it's about coming and experience it and know where to be. So in this section here, what we're going to do is we're going to utilize what invis. Dodge going viz so we can get up here. And then take out him with the shorty. Throw a grenade down there and just SMG. And once he's dead, I'm just going to take out this fuse. And then we're going to go back. And we, there is one more void sniper. But we are going to avoid him. Get it? Alright then. I tried. Nobody can say I didn't try and put a joke in. Uh, we're going to just run straight past him. That was, it was really, really bad. Uh, uh, because, again, if you've got your sword out, you can tank his shots, but it's it's a time thing. That's that's really what we're, we're going for here. And that's us, we're at the boss. So, we are, we've got our super. Super is going to be useful here at the boss, but the invis is going to be invaluable. So, again, exactly like the warlock, as soon as we drop down, charge the lament. We've got charge with light, so we're getting the lucid blade uh, buff. Dodge and go and viz, get used to doing that. After you do damage to the boss, get used to doing uh, a dodge and viz. And there we go, that's that section done. And we again, just, you can see how fast we, we, we're going to get our invis back. It's not going to be super fast, but it's going to be fast enough. And now, this is the last kind of lot of ads. And you get these two guys, you get at both the consoles you get two at this console two at the other console the outside consoles as we'll, as we'll call them and you get one ad on the inside console and we'll just activate the two outside consoles then we're going to go in and do the inside console and then we're going to go after the boss so again another thing to kind of look for when you're doing this is just keep an eye on your ammo and another thing just get into the habit of whenever you're running whether you're using it or not, whenever you're running, pull your sword out to, just to take advantage of passive guard. So as you can see, we're going viz, the boss won't expect us to be attacking. And we're going to try and do five shots and then a big, a big hit. And now, there's a, there's a, we've got other ads here. Now passive guard, this is where you see how much damage passive guard and what we've oh, bearing in mind we've got solar uh, resist uh, solar damage resist and concussive dampener you see we had we were we were at red and it never killed us we, it, the 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 solar couldn't kill us that's how much damage passive guard can tank now you've seen there we just we just kind of sat and waited for a dodge we're not under any trouble you see these screebs I completely bypass those ads when I seen those screeps. I just throw a smoke and I've decided I'm not gonna wait for that that section to become clear. I'll come down here where, where it is safe and just kill any screeps and oh look at all that heavy. Dodge go and viz, pick up one of the heavy bricks and then take out the captain. Now you can see the snipers really can if you're running about with the sword out you can really tank those shots so just like i say just get into the habit of tank of carrying your sword i mean i should have had my sword out here because the other thing is I chose this shotgun because it's got auto load and holster so you want to put it away as often as possible uh, just so it can reload so just get in the habit whenever you're moving from every area, area it doesn't matter what area have your sword out just as I say to take that advantage of passive guard. Again, not pulling my sword out when I'm in here like a complete noob. So now we have our super, but also we're gonna have captain. So we're lucky he's here. Now you might not think that that's lucky. It definitely didn't feel lucky when I couldn't get back up. Again, I didn't want to fire my super because the super would have took me out with the invis, but just another thing that I will say. It's worthwhile maybe checking to see where the boss is before you go down there. I, I was I, I really was because because I felt like I knew what I was doing here. I, I was really kind of uh 
blase, a, a little bit too relaxed. Dodge and go and viz, you can see. I want rid of the captains. And we'll just take these captains, take all the other ads. I've dodged and went and viz, and I'm moving to the side. Because the boss's attack will go straight. And now we'll, we'll just go after him a little bit. And then dodge out of there and viz. I can just come up here. I don't have to attack. I don't have to attack any of these ads. I'm just going to clear them in case. These are the type of ads. These ones here are the type of ads that if you if you if you just stand there, sometimes they'll just they'll come around and start punching you. There we go. And then, luckily, because <laughs> I had my sword out, I tanked any damage I was taking. But he blasted me as I jumped, and it put me right up here. What a thoughtful gentleman. So I just waited there to get my dodge. Just clear out as much of this and then I'm more heavy. Just almost got two dodges. I'll put I'll use one. And you've seen there. This it's worthwhile. And just come back and throw a grenade. That'll kill the two snipers. The two readers. Dodge. Go after this guy. And then over here, see I've got all these now, trying to get some precision hits. Uh, just change here, just try and get some explosive hits. If you can blow up the lanterns, these, these guys, if you can blow the, the Ravager's lanterns up, it's easy pickings. If you see a, if you see a captain firing, don't, it might not, it might be worth not running into his fire. Because even though he can't see you, you're still going to take damage. I don't know why I've done that. So we've got four and a half minutes left. Got one damage section to go. And we've got our super. So most of this has been done. Uh, I think I've only used my super once so far. I think. And we've got our super for the third, third, uh, third wave. Again, just get used to it. What are you doing with yourself? Put your sword out. Okay, don't. But just you guys get get used to pulling your swords out. We're going to dodge and go and viz this time. And I'm, I'm going to put a heap on him. And then dodge. Get out of there. I can run all the way to the other side. And I should get my health back. Just have a look. And I'm going to put my, my super and another dodge. I'm going to take these captains. I never quite had my dodge. And I'll go after him, put some big damage. I've got my dodge now. So I'll run away. Just break this, this captain's shield and just take him out with a shotgun. And there's... The, so the boss does that attack. You'll, you, you'll have seen it before where he kind of does an attack and then he's like... It's like he goes into some sort of, I don't constipation mode, halfway through his push, or whatever. And he just kind of stands there, uh, Mr. Universe style, like, yeah. He's, if you take, if, when he's doing that, I think he's immobilized. So you can just go after him when he does that. But, I have to say, the reason why pro the Warlock run went up first is I found, this is a really easy way for a, like if you're a beginner, it's a really easy way to just, you know, or you're not confident with your other characters. It's a really easy starting point on getting the flawless. It's a lot simpler than, especially like the boss than the warlock. Uh, and there you go, guys. There is the solo flawless master presage. Uh, presage. I would, I would, I would really say if you're struggling with doing this or you're worried about doing it, go in on, going on the hunter. Uh, use the exotic chest plate to get the double dodge and it really does help you can really run past a lot doing this so thanks a lot for watching guys I hope you've enjoyed the video I hope you've enjoyed the run I always do enjoy your support as a, again as I said on the wallet run sorry it took so long really haven't been filming great this week so starting to get back to myself uh, probably not going to do the Titan run now till either tomorrow or maybe maybe the start of next week. Uh, but by next week, I'm hoping to be closer to be doing like Master Nightfalls and what have you. So 
we'll start getting those out. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Again, good luck with your runs. I hope that this helps you guys get through it. Take it easy, and I will see you guys in the next video.